What is going on miners and welcome back to the hobbyist miner channel. Well, today is going to be a quick, short, but helpful video on how to set up notifications of actionable items within Hive OS that are occurring that you need to know about as a miner managing a farm as quickly as possible. So there's two notification options within Hive OS and you can use Discord or you can use Telegram. Well, I found this really helpful article out there uh, from Hive OS that goes over alerts on logging into your system, changing the status of a worker, offline or online, booting off a device, rebooting of a device, overheating, processor overload, increased fan speed, inefficient minor performance, and finally, critical errors. So in today's guide, we're going to go over how to set up Discord to alert you, to send you a private message, a direct message in Discord when any of these items occur. Telegram is one of the other options, but I don't have Telegram, and most miners I know use Discord. Uh, this is a shameless plug I'll throw out there. If you guys are not familiar, we do have an entire Discord community out there right now with over 3,000 people on it chatting about mining all day long. So this is my shameless plug to say go check it out if you're interested. There's all different categories, GPU mining, ASIC mining, CPU mining, Grow10, crypto stocks, you name it, you can go ahead and check it out over on the Hobbyist Miner Discord. I'll put a link down below to it. So let's go ahead and dive in. Okay, so I'm going to set a link up down below uh, if you guys are interested in following along in this article on exactly how to do this. Um, it's not super, super difficult, but I've tried to take, you know, try to take some steps to make it easier for you guys. So for example, one of the early steps in this is to invite the hive bot to your discord so i've gone ahead and done that automatically on my discord channel so you guys don't need to have a discord server one of the first early steps is actually uh inviting the bot to your discord server i did that already so don't worry about it we don't need to do that so second step here is you need to come up once you are in a channel that has the hive bot for example, the hobbyist miner channel. So join my discord. Step one, step two, go ahead and send a private message to Hivebot. So once you've joined my discord, you can actually go to the top left corner, start a conversation and you can type in Hivebot. And there it is right there. You see it? Hivebot. Click it. Now you're having a private one-on-one -on -one conversation with the Hivebot. Okay. So step number two, you need to just type this command to the Hivebot, hive.start. Once you've done that, it's going to go ahead and send you your authentication code. So it says, hello, hobbyist miner. First, you must set the authentication code in notifications section of your profile page. And it gives us the notification number. This is nothing, something, anything secret. Like you guys want to be notified when my rigs go up and down, feel free to use the same number. I don't really care. It doesn't do you any good, but take that number and copy it. Got it? Okay, now go over to your Hive OS and on the right hand side, go to accounts and then scroll down to where it says notifications and select Discord. Once you've done that, go ahead in and uh, where it says enter code to confirm, right click on that and paste in the code that it sent you and hit subscribe. Now it's going to say this action requires security verification. Please enter the two-factor authentication code to, con uh, to continue. So I'm going to go ahead and take out my phone and break out my Google Authenticator. And I'm going to go ahead and type in my two-factor authentication code for my Hive OS. And then I'm going to hit confirm. Okay, so after I've done that, our next command is you need to send a message back to the bot that says hive.user and then your username. So we're gonna go back and I'm going to paste that in, hive.user and my username. There we go. The Hobbyist Miner notification channel subscribed. Discord, the Hobbyist Miner. So now we should be all set and good to go to start receiving notifications when items occur within my farm. Okay, so we have notifications set up on the account level, but that just adds the notification feature. We now need to dig down into the farm level and decide exactly what we want to know about. So select your farm and go to settings in the upper right hand corner. 
Then you're going to scroll down. Uh, where is it? I'm missing it. There it is. Notifications. And you're going to select Discord. Now, this is where you guys want to go ahead and set everything. So take a look here. You can. These are all the different things that you can ask it to notify you via the bot. So detected worker offline. That is like my number one thing that I want to know about. Detected worker online. I want to know about that too. So if my rig goes offline, then comes back online at like a, a minute later, awesome. I don't need to take any action. It's come back online. Worker booted, error messages, warning messages, info messages, success messages. So there's a lot in here. And there's a lot that might be complete overboard that like I don't want to know about. But for all intents and purposes, because I am going to test this out, we're going to leave the default ones set. But if you really don't want to know about any of this stuff, except for when a worker's off, just turn all of these off entirely. Okay, awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to test this out. So to test this out, I'm going to take one of my rigs and I'm going to shut them down. So in this situation, we're going to go ahead and use my test rig, Banshee. And we're going to select it. And I'm just going to go ahead and stop mining on it. And then after it's done, stop mining, we're going to go ahead and shut it down. All right, we're going to give it a minute and we're going to see what the bot sends us. Okay, guys, so we got some alerts and I wanted to go over them a little bit. So I, I got a command that told me the miner stopped, which I did that. Well, if you do that, it doesn't give you a command to tell you the, and then I shut it down. It doesn't give you a command to tell you that the rig is offline, which makes sense. Like that's like a false positive because we stop the miner and then we shut it down. So it makes more sense. And it was also actionable. I caused the shutdown. So then what I did was I went and turned on the rig and it told me the rig booted. Then I went ahead and unplugged the ethernet cable and it told me it was offline. So it doesn't allow false positives to occur, which is really nice. So if I'm working on the rig and I'm shutting it down or rebooting it, I'm not, my phone's not blowing up with discord alerts. So that is something to keep in mind. It is not going to give you alerts when you cause the items to occur, but it will give you alerts when they do, when they are truly actionable and problems do arise, as we can see here, the Banshee rig is offline, which I think this is awesome. So I'm really excited to go ahead and test this out. Something I wanna turn on though, um, to kinda, I think this is great, um, I came across was hourly summary, summary. So I'm gonna turn that on. Now, this may be me checking my phone every hour on the hour at work, but I'm okay with that to give me an hourly summary of my farm. I think that's phenomenal. And these are some great options to go ahead and check out. Well, guys, that's it for today. So if you guys do want to know the steps in a nutshell that we did talk about, step one is join the Hobbyist Miner Discord. Okay. Step two, I already have the bot set up on here for you guys. So all you have to do is when you join the Discord, come up and send a direct message to HiveBot. And this will go ahead and kick off the process that we went to, go through the steps that we did, and bam, it's it's simple and easy. This is not difficult. This was a short video, which I'm excited about. I will put all the steps down below. I'll put a link to the article down below. If you guys have any questions and can't get this working correctly, hit me up in Discord. Uh, I'd love to chat with you guys more about it. Other than that, guys, this is a quick video. Hopefully this was helpful on HiveOS. And until next time, take care.